yes welcome once again uh, with me today I have the blossoms of the savannah by Henry Odeculet sample essay 6 sample essay 6 so good students we've been doing essay 1 2 3 4 5 and the sixth one is right here and I would prefer that you go through those sample essays because they're enlightening in one or the other so with this essay welcome and uh, narration is done by Tabiga Sherlock uh, so therefore gender 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 inequality is tantamount to violation of human rights gender inequality is tantamount to violation of human rights write an essay in support of the assertion drawing your illustrations from the blossoms of the savannah you're required to write an essay in support of the assertion of the assertion drawing your illustrations from the blossoms of the savannah here is a response Today's position on the male and female gender is that men and women are equal and none of the gender should dominate over the other. In Blossoms of the Savannah, women are culturally forced to be sub subservient to men, a practice that denies them some fundamental rights as human beings. A wife has the right to state his position or her position rather on any matter even if it is contrary to the husband's position. This is not the case with Mama Milanoi, wife to Ole Kailo. She admits that she did not know which man her husband was doing business with and even if she did, she would not do anything about it for she was the one or for he was the one who carried the family's vision. She therefore leaves every aspect of decision making to him whether those decisions are good or bad. A woman is being is a being rather to be loved and not to love back although Ole Kailo genuinely loved Mama Milanoi when he saw her first her feelings on him are immaterial women were not expected to resist a man's advances according to Nasilian culture this is a great violation of our right to love or hate in our case there is no room for that it is also expected that Russians should give in to Olusidori's plans to marry her. Refusal is regarded as a stubbornness. In fact, Olusidori claims that none of the, his wives put any resistance in his interest in them. This means that their feelings for him did not matter a great violation of their freedom to choose their marriage partner. Russian and Tayo are forced to undergo cultural coaching by Joseph Palmwatt. Russian rebels this citing inequality in the plan she uh, she op she opines that if they were boys she hopes that that if they were boys such a thing would not have been done on them instead Instead, they would be freely roaming Nasila with nobody bothering them. In their case, there is no such option simply because they are girls. Their right to choose what to do and to learn is violated. Girls are taught how to cook for their men, but there are no lessons for boys on how to please women. Rishan opposes such arrangements saying that she would not be taught so to solely please men. She claims that even boys should be taught how to please women. Gender inequality in this society elevates man over the woman to the extent that Rishan says that it, it made men assume that they had the right over the body of any woman. This has reduced women to be objects of sex, to be exploited by men at will. This practice started with the Olarinkoi warriors who sexually exploited women after arousing their desires. Tayo 
Taiyuan Russian undergoes several rape attempts, with Russian ending up being raped by Ulalingoi, who assumes he has every right over her body. These inequalities have greatly undermined women's right to privacy and also to choose whom to have sexual relations with. Gender inequality does not just stop at that. Instead, it is a major cause of violation of basic human rights that all should be accorded a chance to enjoy. Women in the novel have most of their rights curtailed as a result of gender imbalance between men and women.